Happy 4th of July, everybody. Um, it's Wendy here, and I'm actually having a very interesting 4th of July. Um, my kids are gone. They are with my mother and father-in-law um, in Southern California visiting my sister-in-law and her family. So my kids aren't here, and my husband decided to go to work today so that he could take tomorrow off because um, we don't really do anything on 4th of July usually. Um, our neighbors sometimes have a 4th of July party and a lot of times the kids will go up there and sometimes we will, but we don't really do anything on 4th of July. And it's not that I'm not patriotic. Well, I'm not crazy patriotic, although I am wearing my red hat today. Um, for Hume Lake, which I love. So um, I'm not totally patriotic. I am so grateful for the freedoms that we have and um, the people that died to give us that freedom. But I, um, we don't usually go to a party. We don't do the whole fireworks thing. Like the last few years since we've had our lovely puppy dog, Mo, Every 4th of July at about 8 o'clock when it starts to get dusk, we go on this walk. And the end of the walk is this, um, this kind of high point over by our Trader Joe's. And it has this beautiful view of the ocean. And so we do the walk and then right at like 9 o'clock, we get to the top of this kind of hill and look west and we just get a whole fireworks show. So that's kind of what our 4th of July is. So my husband's not home, my kids are home. I just walked the dog and went to the store to get a watermelon. So that's what I'm doing. Um, actually, the other thing that I'm doing is I'm working on something for Walnut Grove. And you probably don't know this about me, so I'll share this little thing about me is about, let's see, 2012 was when I started doing this little side hustle business. And I had this dream of, I'll give you, I'll give you just a little inside scoop about me. I love weddings. Like, I just think weddings are the most amazing thing. Actually today, I just saw a video on Instagram. I think it was Instagram or maybe it was Facebook. I can't remember. Um, and it was a bride who was marrying a man who was deaf. And so maybe you guys have seen this. Anyway, it's a YouTube video. So she, as she's walking down the aisle, she gets to the point, you know, right at the end of the pews where the groom can see her. And she sings this song with sign language um, for her groom that's sitting there and I am in the kitchen just bawling my eyes out. It's the sweetest thing in the world. And it's that song, um, da, 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 I have loved you. I will love you for a thousand years, whatever that one. It was like so sweet. And so I love weddings. Like I would just go to weddings to people, to, uh, people that I don't even know. Like I just love going to weddings. It just warms my heart. And so I had this kind of dream of doing something with weddings and um, probably about 10 years ago, I had a Christmas thing with my family and we like drew names for Christmas. And so, you know, you never know who you're going to get. And I got my mom and my mom is like, super creative. You can't just like go get her gift card. Like she's just not that kind of a person. Like it have to be like something meaningful. And so I came up with this idea to make these roses, like fabric roses made out of neckties. And so <laughs> that was my present to her was this bouquet and she still has them. I just saw them when I was there last week. She still has them in a vase in her guest bathroom. They're so pretty. But anyway, so that was where the idea came from. And then I started thinking of doing this for kind of like this little side business. So I started making the roses. I did a couple weddings and a prom and a 
couple baby showers and you know stuff like that and then it just kind of fizzled out and I had to put it aside so the but when I was in Walnut Grove five years ago that was when I was right in the middle of it I had just done my first huge wedding um, with oh my goodness there were tons of bouquets and boutonnieres and it was super super fun and the girl that got married is a friend of my little sister and she used ties that were her grandfather's and it was amazing and she did this whole like 20 or 20s I think it was 20s or 40s theme and all the guys had suspenders and oh it was just amazing we had feathers in the bouquet oh it was gorgeous so anyway um five years ago that's when that happened and I met someone at Walnut Grove who really liked them and I ended up doing a bouquet for her she did like this tea themed luncheon or something and so anyway she had told Amy at the museum, hey, you should have Wendy make a bouquet. And so I'm working on a bouquet for Amy um, to do something with. She may be um, auctioning it off, raffling it off, giving it away. I'm not sure. So, and the reason why I bring this up is because it is 4th of July and it happens to be red is the color for the reunion this year and so she wanted it to be red when well, I'm going through my ties and it just I just felt like it needed to be kind of like red white and blue and a little yellow and so these is what I've been doing today I took all my ties I cut them up and started wrapping them on these stems and you're seeing them kind of halfway done so hopefully I'm going to get these done today and they're going to look something like this when you're done. This is one of my finished bouquets and it just is wrapped and that's my beautiful, wonderful bouquet. So that's what I'm doing today. <laughs> Super fun. Um, I will say that 4th of July is is amazing that we have the freedom that we have and this country that we live in um, my grandpas both um, were in the armed forces so they both um, had fought for our freedom and I'm amazed at that and the other thing that I think of especially because I'm like right in this like book launch season is I am just so grateful for the freedom to be able to write down my story and my story is a story of faith and so I don't think that many we should take this for granted that this book can be in print and that I can share stories and verses and the goodness of God so I'm gonna just put it in front of you because I'm so excited um, this book comes out in one month and two days and so la 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 really really fun so anyway that's that and the other thing that I'm going to say today which has been very exciting is my website has gotten an entire facelift and it looks really great I think um, I have included way more pictures for you from um, time on the set and I hope that you really really like it um, I will try to keep doing my weekly blog posts on there um, and there are a couple pages that need a little bit of work but I still just want to tell you go to my website wendylulee.com and it's wendy with an i w-e-n-d-i-l-o-u-l-e-e.com and go check it out and tell me what you think. Um, I, I really like it and I hope that you do and um, you can still write me a personal message on there on the connect page and I love responding to you. So please do that and um, I'm also working on um, a speaker page. I am still working on downloading a sample message and also getting a request form on there to fill out if you want me to come and 
um, speak at your church or your event or whatever. So that is still happening. I didn't want to take everything um, completely shut the website completely off. So it's kind of in process. So, but go check it out and tell me what you think, because I would love to hear, um, what you think of the new setup. And let's see, uh, Walnut Grove's coming. So here's the deal. I am leaving next Wednesday and I will be in Walnut Grove on Wednesday evening. And so I'm actually getting there a day earlier than a lot of the cast members because just the way that flights worked out, it didn't work out. But um, it looks like Charlotte and I are going to be there the night early. And so we just get to hang out on Thursday all day. And I haven't passed this along or I haven't um, asked Charlotte yet, but I'm hoping that next week, maybe I'll have Charlotte Stewart um, for my Facebook Live with you guys. So, and maybe we'll even like be sitting on the wagon out in front of the museum. So um, something like that, maybe we can make it really fun. Um, but I'm gonna see if she's willing to do that. I'm pretty sure she will. Um, so that is um, the plan for next week. I'm so excited to be going to Walnut Grove again. And I just think it's an honor that I get to go. Um, you know, they have only so many spots that they, their budget is only so big and they have to get the people there that um, they think fans want to see. And so I just feel so honored that I was chosen to be one of them. And so I, um, I'm just so excited about that. And I am bringing my wagons. So there will be my little wagons for sale in the gift shop. And of course, there'll be pictures and all that. And for those of you that reserved a copy of my book, I know there was only about 50, um, you will all get the book there that reserved it. Um, but I do know that Amy will be taking some orders for the book when it comes out in August. And I will be doing my little book plates with my signature, so they will be signed, which might make that really good. So you can order them. Um, I'm thinking over the weekend through the gift shop. We'll see about that if I might be talking out of my, um, not knowing what I'm talking about, but um, yes. So anyway, so fun. Um, thank you all for watching today. And I have got quite a job ahead of me to get these roses done. So I think I'm going to tell you all to have so much fun doing fireworks and barbecuing with your family and friends today. Have a wonderful, wonderful 4th of July. And um, I just thank God for the freedom that we have and just pray that you have a really safe and wonderful 4th of July. So we will see you again next week. And thanks so much for um, hanging out with me today. Okay, see ya. Bye.